So you want to install the latest version of Darktable, which will allow you to edit your photos for free. Just search for it on your browser. Or simply go to darktable.org, which is the Darktable homepage. Once there, click on the install menu, and this will give you the various install options. Here you have to choose the one that goes with your computer. If you're on Windows, choose the win64.exe. If you're on a Mac with an Intel processor, choose the x86 underscore 64.dmg. And if your Mac has Apple Silicon, choose the rm64.dmg. When you click on the right option, it will start downloading. Once the download is complete, just close it and then open the installation notes. So on macOS, there's a couple of things that you have to do because you'll have errors, right? The first one is run this command on your terminal and you just have to replace downloads with your actual file location if it is not downloads. So I'm just going to copy this. Then open terminal. Then paste it. Then I have to change downloads to where my file was downloaded. So if I click on here and then open here, you can see my file was downloaded in demo. So that's what I have to put in terminal. So I'm just going to replace downloads with demo and then press enter. Once you've done that, go back to where you downloaded the file and then double click it. This will start the installation and you just have to drag the darktable.app to your applications folder. Once you have the confirmation that is done, just close this and then look for Darktable. If you're like me, like right now, it didn't open, just make sure that you don't have any USB-Cs on your computer that may be messing up with loading Darktable. You can always plug them in when Darktable is opened. And there it is. So now if you close this, search for Darktable, it will open up. So this is how we install Darktable on a macOS device.